That's the thing about the data, the super accurate data still ain't that accurate. Nothing is better than building a business that keeps a lot of people in your pipeline. It gives you more people to call on. There was I, yeah. one of the things I know about. I, I mean, I, you know, listen, I, I, I did a little bit of checking, right? Yeah, Not yeah, that yeah. much, right? And by the way, you know, the reason I don't do checking is because I don't want to. Uh, so many, you know, this people steal so much shit out there, right? Uh -huh. I mean, there's all these false gurus and people, the experts of the of the hour, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't make it a habit of trying to go through other people's stuff. I feel like then I'll adopt it as my own, yeah, either yeah. rightly. Like, sometimes yeah. I don't even realize that you took it from someone else. Exactly. Right, so yeah, yeah. So, so. Well, my so good, dude. If you watch it, you will use it again. What's, you can't what, not use what's it a second the, time. Well, really? Okay, good. Well, oh, what's, no, what's the stuff about being unreasonable? Like when you say, if you want to just be unreasonable, like not stop. Yeah. But what if they don't want it? What's the what's the, what's the fine uh, line? Oh, you wait. saw the unreasonable. You're, you're like follow, the follow up. The... No, 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 no. I mean, like, okay, so you have two types of people. You have buyers and non-buyers, right? Like, what do you mean? No, I don't what? believe that. I, I think they're all buyers. You think all everyone's right. a buyer? Every person, every human. Time out. Well, think about it like this. If I'm trying to sell you today, if I'm trying to sell you a uh, a package of videos for four hundred dollars, right? Do you need any? Do you need any content on the internet? And I'm trying to sell you four hundred dollars worth of content on the internet. Do you need it? No. So could I possibly sell you four hundred dollars worth of content on the internet? No. That's right. But would you spend four hundred dollars today on something that you want or need? Yeah. Like all right, the crappie. Did you eat the crappie yet? No. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, good. But. But let's but say yeah, I'm selling crappie. I buy like a, a a good kitchen knife or something. Yes. Okay. So so Grant's deal is have a product at a price point for every single customer on earth because they wouldn't have walked in there and tried to buy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If they hadn't already done some research. If you they're get, in your space, yeah. they're already. Yeah. But on like with what Jordan's saying, like I would never buy anything from like one of these guru or classes or. I don't think so. Because they haven't shown That's, enough value to you is the yeah. theory. Yeah. But but you would pay for content of some sort. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and that's it. Like so you might not you not might not buy any sales training from Grant, but you might buy a boxing match where he's definitely going to get beat up. Right. So and he's just got to come out with that go. product. There because that go. provides enough value to oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah. I would, yeah mm -hmm. You're like you would pay $50 to watch mm -hmm. Mike Tyson kick Grant T Cardone's ass. I would. Yeah, yeah, I would too. Grant, make it happen. I'd, I'd be there. Yeah, <laughs> I'd pay to go see it. Yeah, just set it up, bro. Uh huh. You're gonna you're missing out on some heavy money if you would just get in the ring with Mike Tyson. <laughs> you'd uh you'd you'd get a lot. A lot of your haters would be there, mm -hmm. and some fans. We'd be there. Yeah, but I'm there for Mike Tyson. Yeah, like I, I lo Grant, you're a good dude. Like you taught me a lot, but Mike Tyson's right. about to blow that back out, and I'm so excited to see it. <laughs> 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 Nothing so, against you, man. Just Blow that back out means something else. <laughs> it, it's going to happen but, both but ways. But I mean, in Grant's defense, there's, I mean, I'd want to see that for anybody. Mike Tyson, go pound town on not a fighter. <laughs> anybody. Yeah. yeah. It, it would be, it would be fun. It'd be over quick. Yeah. So, Whether they they might over, not buy my fish, but then they're going to buy insurance or they're going to buy groceries. or They're all buyers. But what, you're selling fish though. In that case, I was selling fish, but that does not make them a non-buyer. Of fish, though they that day, that well, moment. Right. No, that they second. don't. They don't. My point is, technically, every buyer's, every buyer's a buyer. Okay, so you all don't... I'm looking for is money anyway. Every seller's looking for something. They're looking okay. for money. They don't want to keep what they have. They're looking for money. So you don't think? Okay, so I think so, every buyer's a buyer. Slow it down for one second, right? Slow it down for a second. You speak. You speak almost as fast as me. Slow You're on the down. Red Bull. I'm not. Question. Okay, yeah. so I mean, the, the ultimate solution to all sales is to have a lot of people to talk to. Okay, it's not big pipeline. Right, so if you're if you're if you're cold calling out in the field, yeah. right? Let's say you're going door to door. A lot of people do that, right? So whether it's door to door or out on the phone, right? You knock on someone's door, right? Do you believe that you should try to knock on as many doors as possible, or try to really go deeper into people who aren't interested, or what's the sweet spot? No, they should. They, 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 I, I you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's not the, your question. It's just, you know, what's the sweet spot? How do you know when it's there, better there to is, not waste there is your no time? Sweet spot. Okay. Right, like because even if they hit the sweet spot, it's about volume. I mean, there's no there's no success without volume. Okay. So anybody that's trying to like come up with the the thing is trying to get away from the work. Right? Ooh. And, and so there, there's no. Damn. I mean, it's like there's no structures. Tell them. Here's Hold my on. Here's Hold my on. Hold that on. Was, that that was savage. I must have not have seen that. 
Uh-huh. Well, the first time I watched that, or that'd have been my Facebook. Think, status. Yeah, I think you have made that exact Facebook status. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is one hundred percent the truth. Anybody that's mm-hmm. trying to find the easy button is just trying to get away from the work. Because all Grant would say is just take the contact info and talk to them later. That's yeah. it. Like if they don't want to, okay, great. You know, make find sure a way to follow up and leave. Go to the th- next person. That's it. Get the email address. Get the mm-hmm. phone number if you can, but don't don't waste a lot of time sitting there. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can always go back to them. You can always send them a postcard. You yeah. can always knock on the door later. But but get their contact info. That way you can follow them up because they might not be a buyer for fish that day, but they might be a buyer for jewelry the next day. Mm-hmm. So if you have a wide variety of products, a big pipeline, and something to sell, eventually you're going to domino. And I guess I see the you want to find the sweet spot if you're trying to use the oh well I think if I can you know entice them long enough I could you know. Well, it's like what we do. We don't want to, we're trying to buy houses. We don't want to talk to renters. Yeah. But if we do end up on the phone with a renter, what are you going to do? I ask if they're looking for a place to rent. Or uh, what's their landlord's number? Bang. I mean, you're going to make because it. Because it only takes 10 more seconds. That's right. It, it, the sale, the, 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 the objective went from buying the house that they live in to buying the house that they live in, but you got to talk to one more person. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? The, object, uh, the objective didn't change. You just got to ask for the contact info for the correct party. It, it, that's well, what happens, Cardo- they say no, or oh, I'll just give your number. Okay, but at least you ask because you ask. It's no until you do. That's right. You got to ask for the business, but the, but it's like, hey, yeah, we w- we would rather spend our marketing dollars. Definitely, when you're going to spend those marketing dollars, you want to try to get the best data you can to be able to talk to people that need to sell. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to snipe. I'm throwing it's a more about mat. talking to a lot of people. Talking to a lot of people in in the cheapest manner possible, but I'm trying to talk to a lot of people. Follow up the ones that I know are close. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like, would you rather have super super accurate data that's a smaller list, or would you rather have, have mostly accurate data that's a huge list? Well, and and even the the but that's the thing about the data. The super accurate data is still ain't that accurate. It doesn't even and at the end of the day, it doesn't necessarily say whether or not they're motivated. That's it's right. just uh, they. You know, yeah, there's a lot of right. evidence pointing that they should be. They should be, but people are idiots. Mm-hmm. And so you would and rather... the data could still be wrong. Yeah, you would rather just cast a wide net and mm-hmm. deal with the ones that, that come, that get in the net, and that's it. 